Everybody, buenos dias. Uh, I appreciate the flexibility with my schedule. I have to go meet my board, so thank you. Uh, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be here with you. As Jim mentioned, I'm new to my position, but I'm originally from California and it feels really good to come home. And I think it's especially fitting that we're joined here together for Hispanic Heritage Month, particularly when you look at the kids enrolled in, in Medi-Cal, you got half of them from Latino communities across the state. There's a saying in Spanish that my dad would always say, la salud es un tesoro que vale más que el oro. Translated into English, health is a treasure worth more than gold. And I think no other resource has helped ensure the health of millions like our public programs like Medi-Cal. We at the Children's Partnership are so proud to join you in celebrating 50 years of Medi-Cal saying happy birthday of a clear example of the fundamental belief that in America, healthcare is a right and not a privilege. <laughs> California is home to nine million children. And today we can proudly say that 95% of our kids have coverage. And that is only possible because of Medi-Cal. One in two kids today rely on Medi-Cal to see a doctor when they get sick, to get vaccinations and screenings to keep them healthy. And it matters. Studies show that kids with coverage show up at school ready to learn. Children with Medi-Cal are less likely to drop out of high school. They're more likely to graduate from college. And as a result, they grow up to be healthy, productive adults. They end up even earning more money as adults, being able to make a strong return on the investment that our government makes by having a Medi-Cal program. It's proven to make a difference in the lives of children today and the possibility as adults tomorrow. And we're not done. In a state as large as ours, while we can celebrate that 95% of kids have coverage, that still means that that 5% is hundreds of thousands of kids that do not have the security that healthcare coverage provides. The recent expansion of Medi-Cal to all kids, no matter where they were born, will help reach more kids with coverage. Already, as a result of this expansion and the work of many of you here today, 133,000 undocumented children have the security of Medi-Cal. They were either enrolled in the program or transitioned into it, but that's 133,000 kids with their families that have that security. Recent estimates tell us that there's roughly about 100,000 more children that are undocumented that could benefit, so our work is not over. We all have a role to play, from schools to health centers to community organizations. We need you to continue to help us spread the word about this important opportunity. I want to tell you about a great resource. In addition to our community partners, we have online resources at healthforallkids.org, where you can find information in English and Spanish, as well as resources in a variety of additional Asian and Pacific Islander languages. Uh, today, we've got new bookmarks, not only in English and Spanish, but in Chinese, Thai, Tagalog, Korean, and other languages. So it's not only the right thing to do to extend the coverage to children, but it's the best thing to do to continue to support the future of our state. In celebrating 50 years of Medi-Cal, we celebrate the commitment that the program has made to care for our fellow Californians, our communities, and our families. We stand ready to work with you to ensure the promise is protected for our children today and our grandchildren and children for years to come. Thank you.